Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the kids heading out to the bus stop here in a little bit this morning will find the roadways damp, and there's still a few sprinkles and light showers moving through Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. You can see that kind of gloomy start in Narragansett. It had a little touch of fog, northwest Rhode Island, and still again a couple of showers right along the bay right now. These are pushing to the south and east, so they'll move over Jamestown and Aquinnick Island. We have had steadier and at times heavier showers in and around the Boston area so far this morning. You can see it both on the north and south shore. That's also pushing south and east, so we'll be moving mostly towards Cape Cod. And I see that on the live radar activity. A little quieter back across western Massachusetts and Connecticut. So, a mainly dry day on the way. There's just a small chance that we catch an additional shower, mainly towards the evening and night. Friday, we do have a chance for a few showers, mostly in the first half of the day. It's still going to be cool on Friday. The weekend, though, looks Fantastic. Our temperatures right now, middle and upper 50s. New Bedford's 57. It's 58 in Providence and mid 50s in westerly. Winds are light from the south and west, about 5 to 10 miles per hour on average this morning. Plan on lots of cloudy sky, a little damp and misty this morning at 8, 10 o'clock, cool and dry at 62, noontime near 64. In the afternoon, a touch warmer than yesterday. Mid to upper 60s for our beach locations, lower 70s in Hope Valley, Wickford close to 70 degrees. And we should be on either side of 70 in Johnston, Providence, and Woonsocket. Lots of clouds, and again, a small chance for a light shower later in the afternoon. 69 in the Seekonk area in New Bedford, upper 60s. Mostly cloudy at our beaches, around 68 degrees today with a safe sun time high, about 30 minutes with limited sunshine. A couple of showers around this evening and overnight tonight. You can see in the hour by hour forecast. This is at 9 o'clock this morning. Things quieting down in southeastern New England, keeping an eye on a few showers to the west of us. Most of those will have a tough time getting into the area, so just mainly cloudy this afternoon. A few showers again towards the later evening and overnight hours. And see those scattered showers near the coastline. And tomorrow does have a chance for some showers. First part of the day is starting to dry out in the afternoon with mostly quiet conditions this evening and overnight. I'm still keeping an eye on the system down around the Yucatan Peninsula. Not a lot of organization with it right now, but in the coming days, it is expected to do some gradual strengthening and could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Uh, 35 mile an hour sustained winds right now from that system. You can see your computer model is going to hone in on a track that moves over Florida. So it may end up with some tropical storm watches on the west coast of Florida. Uh, later today or tomorrow. From there, it does look like it'll move safely out into the Atlantic and uh, come near the New England area. So, our seven day forecast some evening and nighttime showers, temperatures around 71 degrees. Tomorrow, showers mostly in the first half of the day. A little peak of sun here and there in the second half, upper 60s. Weekend, beautiful Saturday and Sunday looking good. Then Monday, carrying right on with that. It's a nice, uh, temperate stretch of weather here, no extreme heat. You can get